Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I will give an example on sampling distribution. See the statement of the given problem. A population consists the observations 2, 3, 6, 8 and 11. What is the mean by a population? Population means a group of observations. Okay, a group of any observations is called a population. Consider all possible samples of size 2 which can be drawn without replacement from this population. What is the mean by sample? Sample means a part otherwise subset of the population. A subset otherwise part of the given population is called sample. Here in the question asking that we have to write all possible samples of size 2 of size 2 it means that from these all five observations you have to collect samples of size 2 okay you can take two two observations from these all five observations which can be drawn without replacement there are two methods to collect samples from the population in first one first one is without replacement method second one is with replacement method okay don't forget it also we have to find the following four questions first one is mean of the population, mean of standard deviation of the population, the mean of sampling distribution of means, the standard deviation of sampling distribution of means, SD means standard deviation, don't forget it, one by one I will explain everything, see. So first of all we have to find the first question, <clears throat> once write the given observations of the population, given population observations are 2, 3, 6, 8 and 11. Okay. We can give the names as x1, x2, x3, x4 and finally it is x5. So we have to write population size. What is the mean by population size? Number of observations. It is represented by the letter capital N. Okay. So what is the population size? Number of observations. There are five observations. First one. We have to find out the population mean. Otherwise mean of the population. It is represented by mu. Already you know that. Uh, from childhood onwards you know that suppose we have some observations we can get the mean otherwise the average of that observations by sum of all observations by total number of observations so it is nothing but x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x5 whole by 5 okay it can also express it as sum of x a sum of observations by sample population size okay so 2 plus 3 plus 6 plus 8 plus 11 by 5. So it would be 5, 11, 11 plus 11, 22, 22 plus 8, 30. 30 by 5. So it is 6. So we got population mean is 6. It is represented by the letter mu. Don't forget it. Okay. Now we have to find out the The standard deviation of the population. Standard deviation of the population is it is represented by the letter sigma. So the formula for this standard deviation is 1 by number of observations, nothing but population size. It would be n. We are going to find out the standard deviation for population. That's why you have to write. 1 by population size, number of observations in the population is equal into sum of squares of deviations of the observations from the mean. Nothing but sum of squares means whole square xi, every observation minus population mean whole square. Okay. So, you should write this formula, formula in our examinations. So, sigma is equal to root over 1 by n means 1 by 5 whole into first observation minus mean 2 minus 6 it would be minus 4 since it has 4 
sorry it has square it is positive 2 minus 6 minus 4 whole square it is 16 okay 3 minus 6 minus 3 whole square is there so it is 9 and 6 minus 6 0 square and 8 minus 6 it would be what is 8 minus 6 2 2 square it is 4 and 11 minus 6 5 5 square means 25 see here directly by using our calculator we have to find this so root over 1 by 5 into bracket open you can write all things 25 plus 20, uh, 25 plus 25 50 50 plus 4 I will write in this way root over 54 division 5 I got 3.2863 okay so this is the standard deviation of population observations now we have to find out the mean of sampling distribution of means. So first of all, you have to find out the sampling distribution. For sampling distribution, you have to write the all possible samples. In the given statement, sample size is given as 2. Okay, see. Third one. Given sample size. Sample size is represented by the letter small n. Don't forget it. Population size is represented with capital N. It is 2. So, number of possible samples. Number of possible samples of size 2. Of size 2. Taken by without replacement. Okay, here samples are collected by the method of without replacement. Without replacement from the population, from the given population is the number of possible samples is represented with the letter K. And the formula for number of possible samples is NCN by without replacement method. Suppose here samples are collected by with replacement then the formula for number of samples is n power n don't forget it so what is capital n 5 in this problem 5c2 you know that 5c2 is 10 because 5 into 4 by 2 into 1 5 into 4 by 2 so 5 fours are 20 20 by 20 by 2 is 10 okay now we have to write the all possible samples list here. So take heading list of samples. List of samples. What are the observations here? See here. 2, 3, 6, 8 and 11. Okay. From these 5 observations we have to collect 2, 2 observations. Okay. Serial number. Okay, and uh, name of this sample. Okay, 1, 2, 3, okay, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You have to call, you have to write 10 samples. See, what is the first sample? You can start with 2. Okay, if you randomly you are selecting 2 observations out of 5. So, you may get 2, 3, otherwise... 2, 6, otherwise 2, 8, otherwise 2, 11. So, 2, 3, this is the one possible sample. You may get 2, 6. You may get 2, 8. You may get 2, 11. Otherwise, you may get 3, 6. You can start with the 3. You may get 3, 8. So, 3, comma 11 is a possible sample of size 2. And start with 6. 6, 8 is a possible sample. And 611 is a possible sample. And finally, 811 is also a possible sample of size 2. Okay. Every sample has two observations. That's why this 
this, uh, this popular uh, the sample observation is 2 ok and uh, you have to find out the mean of all 10 samples mean of all 10 samples so so take siding sample mean so the mean of first sample is represented by x1 bar in general sample mean is represented by x bar ok sample mean of your random variable is represented by x bar but here we have 10 samples that's why you will get 10 sample means so 2 plus 3 by 2 only we have two observations so that's why you can add both observations and divide with the 2 2 plus 3 by 2 is nothing but 5 5 by 2 is nothing but 2.5 similarly x2 bar 2 plus 6 8 8 by 2 it is 4 and x3 bar it is 5 because 2 plus 8 is 5 5 I'm sorry 2 plus 8 is 10 10 by 2 is 5 x4 bar 13 by 2 it is 6.5 x5 bar 3 plus 6 3 plus 6 is nothing but 9 9 by 2 is nothing but 4.5 and x6 bar x6 bar is nothing but 3 plus 8 3 plus 8 means 11 11 by 2 11 by 2 is nothing but 5.5 x7 bar 14 by 2 7 x8 bar 6 plus 8 14 by 2 it is also 7 x9 bar it is 17 17 by 2 is nothing but 8.5 in the similar way mean of the 10th sample is 8 plus 11 19 by 2 19 by 2 is nothing but 9.5 so the set of all this all sample means is known as sampling distribution okay the set of all all possible sample means is known as sampling distribution of means what is the third question once you look at the question we have to find the mean of sampling distribution of means here we have 10 sample means we have to find out mean of these 10 samples okay that is the third question see here one second please so therefore mean of sampling distribution of means mean of sampling distribution of means which is represented by the letter mu x bar is equal to what is the formula sum of all sample means by number of samples which is k so you can add these all things x1 bar plus x2 bar plus x3 bar plus so on x10 bar whole by 10 okay so 2.5 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6.5 plus 4.5 plus 5.5 plus 7 plus 7 plus 8.5 plus 9.5 don't miss any value here 10 if you add these all things surely you will get 60 so 60 by 10 is nothing but 6 here we are observing that what is the observation clearly population mean mean of the population and mean of sampling distribution mean sampling distribution of means this both should be equal see here already we got here mean of the sample population is 6 surely we will get mu x bar is also 6 that is the verification ok now what is the fourth question the standard deviation of sampling distribution of means so fourth one so what is the standard deviation of sampling distribution of means is equal to it is represented by sigma x bar what is the formula for standard deviation for 10 observations 10 observations are there so you have to write the formula like root over 1 by k okay whole into sum of squares of deviations from means uh, from means to sorry sample means to mean of sampling distribution of means so xi bar minus mu x bar whole square it is also 6 no problem so that is equal to root over 1 by 10 1 by 10 whole into 
2.5 minus 6. What is 2.5 minus 6? 2.5 minus 6. So I got 3.5. Negative 3.5 but you have the square. That's why you will get 3.5 whole square. Plus 4 minus 6. It would be minus 2 whole square. It is 2 square. 5 minus 6. Minus 1 but square is there. So you will get 1 square. 6.5 minus 6. 0 0.5 whole square. Plus 4.5 minus 6. May, it may be negative. Since it has square. All terms becomes positive. 1.5 whole square. 5.5 minus 6. 6 it would be 0 0.5 whole square 7 minus 6 1 1 square plus 1 square plus 8.5 minus 6 2.5 whole square plus finally 9.5 minus 6 it would be 3.5 whole square we have to calculate this entire root value c so root over 1 by 10 is there bracket open so 3.5 square plus 2 square it is nothing but 4 plus 1 plus 0.5 square plus 1.5 square plus again 0.5 square plus 1 plus 1, 1 square means only 1, plus 2.5 square, plus 3.5 square, okay, is equal to, oh, maybe I did a mistake here, 3.5 whole square plus 4 plus 1, 0.5 whole square, 0.5 square, I think I didn't close the bracket, Yes, yes, I didn't go. If you do not close the bracket, it shows the syntax error. Yes, I got 2.01. So, this is the standard deviation of this is the standard deviation of the sampling distribution of means. In this way, we can crack the problem, and also you can verify you can verify whether this answer is right or wrong by the formula. I will give a formula to you to you here since population uh, sample is collecting by without replacement method the formula for standard deviation is nothing but sigma by root n sigma is nothing but population standard deviation which is obtained from second question whole into root over n minus 1 by sorry it is n minus n by n minus 1 if you find this one, surely you will get 2.01. Okay, you can also check whether your answer is right or wrong by using this formula. Okay, this formula is useful only when samples are collected by the method of without replacement. Okay, don't forget one important thing here mean, population mean and mean of sampling distribution, uh, sampling distribution of means are coincide. They both are equal, but standard deviation of sampling distribution of means population standard deviation are not equal don't forget it and uh, i will give one more example here you can practice that one similar problem you can practice the problem for the observations 3 6 9 15 and uh, 27 instead of these observations you can practice this similar problem okay thank you very much in the next video i will give some more problems on sampling distribution bye